Good morning, it's Hannah and Heidi. Hello. Uh, today we thought we'd talk a little bit about summertime. Um, the weather's getting hot outside, so we know that summer is here. Uh, so with summertime is here, and along with summer comes a lot of hot temperatures and some different things that you can do outdoors and some fun times outdoors. Uh, we've been kind of cooped up inside for a long time, and so with this warmer weather, I hope that this is giving you an opportunity to get outside and enjoy some sunshine and a new environment and some fun things to do. So there are so many activities that we can do outside right now that are super fun and super easy. Um, let's see, you could go for a walk, you can go for a bike ride, or maybe you can just enjoy some time outside with friends or by yourself, just enjoying the nice weather. I know I have been. It's been so nice and warm. It's gorgeous. Um, you can grill out or help with the grill out. You can enjoy a nice family or friend picnic. And many people enjoy some summer gardening outside while the weather is nice. Uh, so those are some things that we thought of. Um, what are some of the other things that maybe you like to do outside in the summer? You can kind of talk about that with who you're with and uh, even share some of that with us, some of your summer activities, maybe the next time that you talk to us too. Um, while all these activities are fun and enjoyable, we still also need to make sure that we're being safe and uh, we're prepared for that warmer weather when it comes in the summertime. Uh, in South Dakota, we do have many different kinds of weather, so uh, we all know we have to be flexible and that our weather can change from day to day. So we want to make sure that one way for us to stay safe this summer is to stay on top of the weather. So we need to be informed and pay attention to the weather. I mean, South Dakota, you can wait five minutes, it'll be <laughs> a totally different weather situation outside. Well, I think it's really hot now, and isn't it supposed to rain yeah, sometime some, today? Yeah, so something. who knows? The weather can be a bit cooler some days, hotter the next day, and also rainy and stormy, and the humidity <laughs> is so bad. My hair is so frizzy. So we need to watch the weather or ask to determine what the weather might be like that day. This will help with what activities you may have planned and even what clothes you will wear to, for that day and for those activities. Or even how we have to change our plans. Yes. Some of those plans may have to change depending on that weather, too. So today we have some items that uh, we'd like to talk to you about to discuss uh, some different things with weather safety. The first one that we want to kind of talk about today is sunscreen. Sunscreen is very important. It's very important to have and to make sure that you have um, on hand throughout the whole summer. Uh, one thing to do is to make sure that if you have sunscreen from last year, do you, is it expired and do you need to get new sunscreen uh, for this year? You don't want to use expired sunscreen. It's not going to help protect you from any kind of sun rays or anything else. But when you go outside on sunny days, you want to make sure that you're wearing sunscreen. You want to apply your sunscreen before you go outside so that the sunscreen has time to soak into your skin and have you fully protected when you venture outside. So we don't want to go outside and then put it on, but if you forget, make sure that you do get that sunscreen on right away. Uh, as you're outside doing different activities, make sure that you are reapplying your sunscreen. As we sweat or get wet if we're doing something outside with water, we need to reapply our sunscreen to make sure that our skin is completely protected from the sun and its rays. Uh, while you're outside, you could also wear a hat. They do have really cool, cute sun hats. I like those. Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, you can wear some loose-fitting clothing, uh, loose-fitting light-colored clothing to cover your skin. So if you have like a, um, a lighter shirt, you can wear it so it covers all of your arms. You don't want to be wearing like a sweater or anything outside, but making sure that you have loose, light-colored, fitting, loose-fitted Loose fitting light colored clothing. Tongue Sorry. twister. Nice. Yes, I'll get it out. Um, or to protect your eyes, you could also wear some sunglasses. Um, you might also want to be able to find some shade, maybe by a tree, or if you have an umbrella, you can use those while you're outside to avoid that constant direct sunlight from the sun. Uh, that way you're not in the sun for long periods of time. And if possible, maybe avoid going outside during peak sunlight hours. Uh, those would be maybe like the hottest points of the day, the hottest parts of the day. 
um, maybe like around that 10 to 2 time frame where the sun is directly above us and it's pretty hot at that time of the day. Okay, so the next item we're going to talk about is clothing. I know Heidi kind of touched base a little bit on it when talking about sunscreen. But in the summer, we want to make sure we are wearing appropriate clothing, especially because a lot of us store our summer clothes away, so we don't wear them during the winter. So we want to make sure they fit, they don't have holes in them, all those good things. In the summer, we might we want to make sure we are wearing appropriate clothing. We might want to be wearing more light-colored, loose-fitting clothing. Most likely, our summer clothes have been packed away for an entire year, so make sure they still fit and don't have holes. You can wear clothing that loosely covers all your skin to avoid contact with UV rays or wear summer clothing like shorts and tank tops. One thing in the summer uh, is that we like to wear clothes that keep us cool, but we do not want to be showing any extra skin or parts of ourselves that need to remain covered. If you're unsure, simply ask someone you trust if you feel your outfit is appropriate for the weather. Hydration is the next one. Uh, water, water, water. Make sure in the summertime that you are staying hydrated. Uh, drink plenty of water to make sure that as you sweat, you are replenishing your liquids into your body. We want to make sure that you're getting the water that you need to keep your body refreshed and cool. Uh, if water is something that you prefer, make sure that maybe you're drinking water, Gatorade, uh, juices. We want to stay away from things like pop. Um, or different things that have a lot of sugars that aren't being able to replenish that sweat and that water that we're losing in the summertime from being outside. Okay, so another thing about summer is all the bugs come out, and I'm not a bug person. I hate bugs. I think <laughs> they're awful. My boyfriend likes to collect them. It's, I hate it. It's disgusting. Uh, but as we enjoy the time outside, especially in the evenings, the bugs begin to join us in on our fun. So make sure you are using a bug spray that you like to help deter bugs like mosquitoes, gnats, or other bugs that may bite and leave itchy things behind. I hate it. I am i don't know about you, but I'm really prone to mosquito bites, and it's awful. Oh. I hate it so I've much. I've had gnat bites lately. Oh. Like little gnat bites that itch really bad. Uh, anyways, everyone has different <laughs> opinions on what works best for bugs, so find out what you like. And what might work for you. And use it to help keep yourself safe from mosquitoes and gnats this year. And another thing, just like sunscreen, if you have some from last year, make sure, I don't know if bu sun, or bug spray expires, but just double check. I don't know if it does either. I don't know. Double check. It's not going to hurt. Better safe than sorry. Yes. Yeah. Um, and the last one we have today is on vehicles. So in the summertime, our vehicles or our cars can get really hot. So please do not sit in a hot car with your windows rolled up or the car all shut up and there's no air that's moving through there. Uh, cars can get hot very, very quickly. Uh, so you do need that air and you do need the movement of air. So with the windows rolled down or the air conditioner on inside of the car or vehicle that you're in. And also be careful when you get into a vehicle that has been sitting in the hot sun. Uh, the seats, uh, doors, and other items in the vehicle can be very hot to the touch. Especially um, leather seats. Yes. And so even when we sit down on the seats, if you're wearing shorts, uh, be careful. Maybe test it a little to see how hot it is. Um, I know the one thing for me is when I get in and drive, if my steering wheel is really hot, mm -hmm. if it's been sitting out in the sun. And it really is hot to the touch. Uh, so just be safe and make sure that you're not staying in a hot car, sitting in a hot car. Um, because those cars do get very, very hot very, very quickly when they're sitting in the sun. So there's lots of things we can do to prepare for summer. Some, there are other things you can do depending on what activities you like to do during the summer. So we challenge you to make a list of the things you like to do during the summer and how you prepare yourself for your participation in the activity of your choice. I know Heidi and I were talking about wanting to go swimming. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so nice yeah. with how hot it's been. Or even just playing out with, like, the hose. Yes, anything with water yes. right now. Um, I know there's not a lot of things that we can do mm -hmm. with everything going on this summer. Um, but there's still activities that you can do that you find enjoyment in. So um, if you do find a hose, let us know. Maybe we'll join you. Um, <laughs> But find something that you like to do and how you can make sure that you're being safe and prepared for that 
activity that you like. Okay, I think that's all so, we have for you today. Sounds good. Okay, thanks so all much, right. you guys. Bye. Bye.